Because I got a dog. You got any dog people here? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Right on. My kind of folks, man. Uh, yeah, man, I love my dog. We have, uh, we had a very eccentric dog, my wife and I. Uh, we have a three-legged pug <laughs> named Taz. That's a letter for each limb still attached to his body. <laughs> We're praying we never have to call him Mr. T. And people always do what you guys did when they hear we got a three-legged dog. They're like, oh, that's so sweet. You guys got a rescue. And I gotta be like, nah, we did it. <laughs> I'm still paying for that surgery. <laughs> and it's a boring story, man. He had a birth defect. His elbow were growing backwards. So he broke his leg. We had to snip it. But we didn't know he broke his leg for like three months because he didn't say nothing. <laughs> We just thought he had a little swagger to him. We didn't know him. He's cool, he's hip, let him be all right. But that's a boring story, I don't like it. It's not chivalrous, there's nothing exciting about that. So what I like to do is I like to mess with people. When folks ask me what happened to his leg, I give them a different answer every single time. Kids are the best. Oh my goodness, I love it when kids come up. This little boy come up to me one time, I, was, I had my dog at the park, he's like, Hey, mister, what happened to your dog's leg? And I just went, we lost it. And I kept walking. <laughs> we were playing fetch and I threw it too hard. What do you want from me, kid? <laughs> I had one guy come up to me and he's like, hey, what happened to your dog's leg? And I was like, the war? <laughs> Vietnam vet! In the sense that he went to a Vietnamese veterinarian. I'm gonna let y'all pass that one around for a minute. What's been weird though recently is people have been trying to guess what happened to his leg. That's been unusual. I'm not ready for that. I was walking him a couple weeks ago, a guy rode by on his bicycle. He's like, hey, did your dog get hit by a car? What car is gonna hit a pug and he only loses the front right leg? If I hit a pug with my car and that's the end result, I'm returning that car. It is not safe for me to drive. I need some with better safety features. Like, I don't know, man, a Hot Wheels or a Tonka truck or something. I can't have pugs shaking me off like, Watch where you going. <laughs> what are you thinking, man? Get your life together. <laughs> People always ask if my dog gets around okay. I take him off his leash. I'm like, catch him. Say goodbye to those three hours. <laughs> He's faster without the leg. Don't feel bad for him. <laughs> Now he could juke, stiff arm, spin move. He's the perfect Madden character. We had to move out of our apartment because of him. Yeah, we used to live in an upstairs apartment and he gets in these running fits and wants you to catch him. So if you live downstairs underneath us and we live in the second story apartment, it sounds like we're filming all the montages from Scooby-Doo upstairs. <laughs> and so it takes me like 20, 30 minutes sometimes to catch him because he's real quick and agile and I finally catch him. And I'm like, da da da, but it's too late. I hear it pounding on my front door and I open the door and it is my neighbor from downstairs. And to say that she is upset is a terrible understatement. <laughs> she is red in the face, veins popping out of her neck, yelling at me like, excuse me, could you tell your dog to keep it down for just one night, please? And I just looked at her and went, we already cut off one of his legs so he'd make less noise. <laughs> to do. <laughs> so we had to move, y'all. I love my dog, man. I love him like a son. He's not my son. I'm not one of those people. Don't hate me. Because <laughs> if you've raised a human being before, you hate anybody that's like, my dog is my child. No, it's not. It's not the same thing. If I got a kid, I can't leave him at home for eight hours with a couple of bowls with food and water. Like, I cut a hole in the door. He'll figure it out. <laughs> They will take your kid away from you. I know, I've checked. 
I'm missing my little brother. 